Well, knowledge seems to me to be uh, a basis of fact and a structure of those facts into a coherent explanatory whole, uh, which is replicable and which can be passed along to other people. Now, there are various forms of knowledge. There's self-knowledge about who one is as a person, and there's social knowledge about where we all fit together as peoples. Uh, but for me, knowledge has been following my curiosity to try to make sense of the world. Well, not as much as I should. <laughs> but I, uh, I have spent uh, the last uh, oh, 30, 40 years trying to understand what is power um, and how do we use it and how do we understand how to use it. Uh, for me, power is the ability to affect others to get the things we want. And that can be done in three ways. It can be done with threats, coercion, or payments, uh, and uh, also by getting others to want what you want, which is what I call soft power. So using coercion of payment to get what we want is hard power. Uh, using persuasion and attraction to get what you want is soft power. I'm interested in how different people, different leaders, different countries uh, mix those hard and soft power components together. And I call the successful mix of hard and soft power, smart power. And in the book that I just published, uh, Future of Power, I try to argue what are the components of smart power and how is it changing over this century? Uh, basically, I argue there is a shift from west to east with the recovery of Asia and a shift away from all governments to non-governmental actors as we see the increased role of non-state actors and empowered individuals under the impact of the communications and information revolution. I'd like to know how we can use power to develop institutions and cooperation that will allow us to deal with some of the really big problems that we face. Uh, obviously, there are still problems of the use of violence and war, though there are some statistics that suggest that in the long historical perspective, this may be diminishing somewhat. But it's still a very real and important problem. But there are also very large problems, which are uh, how do we cope with non-state actors, uh, particularly in the world of cyber technology who can do the kinds of destruction that in past were restricted to uh, governments and state actors and how do we cooperate to deal with that and how do we deal with the big long-term uh, transnational problems such as global climate change we're going to have to learn to think of power as not just power over others but power with others power to get the things we want by working together with others because we can't often do it working alone. And on most of these big issues, of transnational issues, uh, financial stability at the global level, climate change, pandemics, and so forth, uh, you can't do this alone. You have to do it by learning how to develop networks of cooperation using soft power and developing institutions so that we can cope with these very large transnational problems.